there. Today I'm going to be art resining this piece that I made for my new little nephew whose name is Mason. He's not born yet actually, he's still inside his mommy's tummy. But we're going to be having a baby shower for her this weekend and so I just wanted to resin this piece all up, get it nice and finished so that I can gift it to her on Sunday. Pinterest basically gave me all sorts of inspiration in terms of how to write the name, what font to use and I ended up going with this nice calligraphy. And then the second thing was this nautical themed calendar that they have in the room. They're going to go with bubbles and water and splashes and little sea animals and all that kind of thing. So hence the whale in the piece and it brings a little bit of personality to this piece as well and also some color. Okay, so I got all my art resin, I got all my tools, I'm ready to go. The way I like to resin is to not do the sides at all. That's my preference. So I'm going to guide the resin out to the edges and then stop. It's got a consistency like clear honey, so, and I've done this a few times, so I'm gonna be able to do that really ni nice and uh, cleanly. I'm gonna be able to do that really nice and tidily, leave a nice clean, tidy look there and not have it fall over the edge. So it's not gonna stick to my tabletop and that's just my preference. That's the way that I like to do edges, i.e. not at all. I've already gone to the calculator at artresin.com slash calculator and figured out that I need um, 22 ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out, mix it in here, stir for three minutes, and away we go. Glass. All right. You're causing a chemical reaction when you mix the resin and the hardener together, and you wanna make sure that all of those bonds are able to happen completely and thoroughly throughout the whole mixture. If you half-ass this, you will pay the price. <laughs> three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. I am so excited for this kid. <laughs> it's awesome because it's like one more kid, but it's not my kid. So I get to play with the kid, but I don't have to take full responsibility for the kid. <laughs> Auntie Bex, I'm gonna freaking spoil that kid. Okay. Like I was saying, you just push the resin, you kind of guide it to the edge, and then you stop. You can get actually real close to the edge. You can get right to the edge of the cliff. Okay, that looks really good. Time to torch. If you don't have a torch, you are not doing it the easiest way. You are doing it the hard way. Go across just like you were ironing clothes. <laughs> I don't iron clothes. <laughs> Just don't stop, that's the key. I'm just picking a hair up. Okay, now cover it up and we're done. Till tomorrow, goodbye. So here it is, Jeff, all done. What do you think? Love it. I love it too. Love that's your okay. necklace. Oh, thank you, it's hard reason. Anyways, um, so I, this is done, this is cured. It looks beautiful, I'm really happy with it. I did have one more idea that I wanted to do for this piece because this is a nautical theme. I have some rope. And I thought it'd look cute if I just put this around like a little frame kind of thing. So I'm hot gluing it, even though Art Resin is like the strongest glue you can possibly get. Uh, I thought that I should hot glue it instead because hot glue dries really instantly and Art Resin takes like 24 hours. So in this scenario, the hot glue wins. I know, it's not often I say that. I'm happy with it, so I think they will be too. <laughs> Did you know they were making that? That's got your art resin on it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah.